I'm at the Culver's drive through again. I was in the mood for some Culver's. So I went to Culver's. You might think that sounds like culvert, but no, it's Culver's. It is not a ditch, it's a restaurant. Anyway, today I'm going for the North Atlantic Cod Filet Sandwich. It's beer battered cod in a sandwich. And from my memory, it has lettuce, tartar sauce, and cheddar cheese in it. Let's check it out. So I placed my order and now I'm going around the corner where they'll serve it up fresh. Oh no, music in the background. Did he say that there must be a cash? Would you walk away from a fool and his money? Sonny! I'm in the line of cars waiting for my food. They no longer give you the plastic tab to put on the window. I assume because of you know what. Also, there's a song I like playing on the outside speakers, but I close my window so YouTube won't take my copyright money. And the guy behind me looks at me kind of weird because he's probably wondering why I'm talking to myself. But is this really any different from people who spend the entire way home on their commute on their phones? You ever notice that's a big thing with parents, right? That's like the only time they're actually like free, right? Because if they do have kids, they're like strapped into the back, helpless, immobile. So that's like parents' free time is on the commute. Okay, it now appears that I am number one for departure. I guess I'm not number one for departure. The vehicle behind me got their order first. Hopefully that means my order will be piping hot and fresh. Okay, I got my order. I'm driving away from the copyrighted music, but I'm still gonna be in the parking lot. I think they've started to let people inside at this location now, but I don't want to go inside. Welcome to Delicious. If you're looking for me, I'll be with my Butter Burger. Okay. I guess that's supposed to... Ooh. Oh, yes. Well, it was worth the wait because I can tell the fries are... Hmm. Piping hot. If they were any fresher, I'd be burning my mouth. You know, one thing I've thought about with McDonald's, I know I'm at Culver's, not McDonald's, but... If you get McDonald's when it's fresh, it's actually really good. I mean, including the fries. I mean, obviously these fries are really good too, but... So it's not that McDonald's food can't be tasty, it's just that it's usually stale. I'm sure it's labor cost rise. They have to take it out on the food, so to speak. It's like if you're at like a busy airport, which I guess doesn't exist anymore, but if you're like at a busy airport and there's McDonald's and there's a line around the block, the food's gonna be completely fresh when you get it, and it's actually really good. I think the bad rap comes from just McDonald's where the food sits on the warmer for like an hour and then it kind of is gross. I mean Culver says they cook to order but I don't know I have gotten fries from them in the past that clearly weren't that great. But these are as fresh as a morning dew. Back home my 3D printers are well printing so they're doing work while I'm having lunch. Okay. So here we go. This is it. I just realized it's going to be kind of hard to not make a mess because I do this. But um, yeah, it's a piece of beer battered fried cod. And yeah, it's got uh, tartar sauce, lettuce, and cheddar cheese. Here's another view of it. Wow. Welcome to Delicious. Look at this Emmy Award winning photography. All right, I'm gonna try to eat this without making a huge mess in my car. I might have a, a dirty steering wheel, but I try to actually keep my car pretty clean. There's not much in it. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's probably why I had to wait a little longer. This is like, again, also super fresh. 
super fresh, super juicy. Look at that nice flaky cod. Mmm. It's really good. I mean, it's basically, you know, like a slab of Friday fish fry fish in a bun with lettuce. And I believe, yeah, that is tartar sauce. Okay. And large to show texture. You know, we have a lot of cool things in Wisconsin. But we just don't we just don't brag about it like Texans do. Although our <laughs> tax rate isn't very cool. But we have culvers and spotted cow and cheese curds. Almost no natural disasters except for your occasional tornado. I wonder if it's pre-beer battered. Or if they beer batter each one. It's a pretty good batter. It's definitely greasy. This Culver's. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it just prints money anyway, but there's a never-ending stream of cars coming into the parking lot. Like, the line of cars usually goes out into the street. It's pretty nuts. I mean, I've come here sometimes, and I don't even bother do doing the drive through the line was pretty short when I got here, but that was about 11.30, so. So maybe they don't always cook to order. I mean, same thing with the fries. Yes, I would say on average, the quality of Culver's is better than something like McDonald's. And remember, it's not if the food's healthy, is if it's tasty. That doesn't, health doesn't matter. All that matters is taste. Because Culver's, not good for you. Chick-fil-A, not good for you. In-N-Out Burger, not good for you. But they're all super successful because they're tasty. Eating like a pound of rice in a chipotle burrito, not good for you, but it's tasty. So that's all that matters. Maybe that could be McDonald's new uh, slogan. The taste is back and I'm loving it. You can have that one for free McDonald's. So pretty much every town in Wisconsin has a Culver's. Any town over like 3,000 people is going to have one. Mm, Madison probably has like six. They should build one in the airport. That would be cool. Because people would be like, oh, what's this? It's a Wisconsin restaurant, even though it's gone to many other states. And, unlike Chick-fil-A in Atlanta, it would be open on Sundays. If I describe Culver's to someone from out of state, especially if they're from the south, oh, I just spit on my, on my radio. I'll say... Culver's is like Chick-fil-A, but with a wider selection, and it's open on Sundays. This is so tasty. Uh, yeah, so, you know, you, you don't have to be in Wisconsin. I mean, that's where Culver's came from, but it's saturated the Midwest pretty well. So basically, it's like the Midwest version of Chick-fil-A or In-N-Out Burger. Although, I think Culver's just annihilates In-N-Out Burger. I mean, In-N-Out Burger's okay, but... I mean, really, it's not that fancy. I remember working on these signs for Culver's. It's kind of weird. You see how there's um, an oval retaining ring that holds the sign face in place. And then there's a uh, kind of like a stroke line around the word thank you. And you'd think that the ratio between the retaining ring, that oval, would simply be an offset to the line inside of it, but it actually isn't. If you look at the top and the bottom, they're wider than the left and the right. And that was something that we actually had to keep consistent, even though it kind of looks inconsistent. So that was always a pain in the butt. One thing I like about this Culver's is their address. Um, it's, uh, and it's right on the side of the building. It's 4401, so it always makes you think of transistors when I come here. I think it was like the other day, I noticed a house that was 555. That was pretty cool. So yeah, I would definitely give that sandwich two thumbs up and an A+. There are some things at Culver's that are like less fresh. Like if you get the pork tenderloin sandwich, 
it's basically like this ring of pork tenderloin. It's very clearly just some off the shelf Cisco branded product. I mean, it's still okay, but it's it's closer to a hockey puck than like food. So yes, not everything at Culver's is amazing, but most of it's pretty good. So again, if you're ever in the Midwest, Culver's, you can't miss it. They're everywhere, big blue oval.